The National Coordinating Committee of the Rotary African Cup of Nations Cameroon 2022 on Wednesday held its first press conference. The committee is tasked with the responsibility of raising 120 million to facilitate the preparation for Gambia's Maiden participation at the Continental Showpiece event next year. The president of the Gambia Football Federation, who doubles as the vice chairman of the National Coordinating Committee, said they have not yet received any money from CAFT, despite making several requests. There is no reaction from CAFT on our request, both formally and informally, uh, much more of the amount. But if it comes, we are going to put reasons. Uh, <coughs> there are a lot of things, a lot of things that uh, a lot of funds that have to be uh, uh, to be to be the thing. In fact, I can tell you, uh, one of the areas that we want to complement government efforts is the is the infamous uh, qualification bonus, bonus that has uh, raised a lot of controversy. We are aware of it. JFF, uh, what we said, in case we receive anything from CAF to to that magnitude or anything less, uh, they will be able to complement uh, government's contribution towards the qualification bonus. But as I speak to you. We never have any formal communication, non formal, not formal, not informal, from CAF as to what they're going to give to each team. The head of the Media and Publicity Subcommittee, Musa Sise, appealed to the public to come forward and patronize the Scorpions. All the businesses in this country, whether they're the telecoms, banks, finance, you know, I mean, airlines, hotels, all these people can play a part. And we are looking to tap into all these businesses to be able to be seen as a supporter or a partner of the national team as we prepare to go to Cameroon. We also wish and hope that every single Gambian as an individual, let's start with the civil servants to see how best they will also be able to chip in, at least if it's going to be a monthly contribution now against December or January, that is going to be discussed with the head of the civil service to see how much money each and every individual civil servant uh, will be able to contribute. Much more, the Gambian population, wherever you are, wherever you are, from Banjul to Koina to Fatoto, wherever you are, if you can, we are going to open up avenues for you to even donate wherever, whenever, and where, whatever you can do, whatever amount also. Whether it's through the phones, I mean, the phone banks we are going to use, whether it's going to through the money transfer agencies we are going to use, these avenues will be communicated to the general public as to when they can. He also highlighted a series of activities lined up to raise the required funds. The NCC comprises of four committees. The four committees are finance, um, fundraising and finance, the logistics committee, the technical committee, media and publicity committee. The finance and uh, Fundraising Committee is headed by Mr. Idijob. Idijob is the president of the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He's a true businessman uh, who is being tasked with raising this amount of money. Let me coolly put it at $120 million is, is what we are looking for. The big question is how are we going to get this amount of money? But we will see how we deal with that uh, later. Is also supported by well-meaning individuals in the business community, the finance ministry, the sports ministry, and the football house. The Logic Six Committee also comprised of individuals from um, in the Ministry of Youth and Sports, um, in the Sports Council, and of course, uh, I mean um, GFF, who are also very much on top of. Uh, I mean, looking at what is needed, their responsibility is looking at all the logistical needs of the team and everyone surrounding the team and of course in Gambia here and also in Cameroon. The technical committee comprised of three individuals headed by Mr. Ibu Fai and of course his head of competitions at the football house by, um, supported by the coach and of course I mean the team manager because the technical aspects of the team surrounds them so they're going to deal with or handle with everything that's, that that's, uh, I mean, surrounds the team. The media and publicity committee which I head and also as the head, uh, I mean the spokesperson for the group I um, mean, is responsible for the publicizing and the creating an awareness surrounding everything that has to do with the National Coordinating Committee and uh, everything that has to do with the press and media in terms of its publicities, in terms of creating awareness, in terms of the support and supporting all the other, I mean, committees to make sure that their job is publicized. According to the committee, they are targeting 120 million 
But as of now, they only got 500,000 pledge from the government of the Gambia. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.